For a time well spent Dominican shawty So I said Kel okay I like him all naughty With a couple of friends That's for real It's okay It's alright We gon' do something That you might like Wake up Take advantage of the day Get some flowers Chocolate bouquet Drive down Biscayne Bay What you say Ocean drive While we sip Chardonnay Man of the city Like I'm Dwayne Eat true right If you show me That you behave Ay. She's brown skin I'd listen in I'm sipping Bring you and your friends, she's brown skin, I glisten in, I'm sipping him, bring you and your friends, yeah, tu eres mi vida, yeah, tu me fascina, yeah, mi morenita, You know who's in the building, always styling, wildin' with multiple women in these Miami Island. What's up with buddy over there? Why he steady crying? Your girl chose me, he stopped the whining. Take her back to the crib and watch her wind it. Chain positions, hit it from the back, make her rewind it. I'm known for being pussy up, but don't condone the violence. I guess you wasn't doing your job, you were a novice. I kick everything in my lane, that be Chuck Norris. A making team with good poom poom, that be a Taurus. Hawaiian shirt, pink me, pink her. Make all the ladies start. Damn, I feel gorgeous. Why come standing the Club, girl, what you doing? Instead, all of that stank attitude, we should be screwing. Bet I leave that pussy all type of oozing. This daddy two minds, baby, you know how we be moving. She's brown skin, I just moving. I'm sipping, I'm sipping moving. Head, bring you and your friends. She's brown skin, I glisten in. I'm sipping, head, bring you and your friends. Yeah, tu eres mi vida. Yeah, tu me fascina. Yeah, mi morenita. What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, world? You are now tuned in to Hip Hop and Politics with your girl, Queen Delilah. And that beautiful song was by your boy, Leonidas. Yes, we pulling up. Leonidas will be on my show May 14th, which is tomorrow, at Island Vibe Cava Bar Wynwood, as you know, 3200 Northwest, um, 2nd Avenue, Miami, Florida. So we Liddy. But yeah, that's that's Leonidas. You can actually follow him at Leonidas on all of his handles. He's um from the group 92 Minds. It's super dope. I already did um an, another artist from 92 Minds, Goldmine Rex, which is um the other half of 92 Minds. So yeah, so we just following up with the other partner in the crime. And um that was his song, Brown Skin. So I love that song. That song has been on our handles for a while um since we're doing promo form so you can actually check out our page and all of our handles hip-hop and politics inc all right that's our handles on um, our ig and on our website www.hiphopandpoliticsinc.com our facebook hip-hop and politics with queen delilah and our youtube page hip-hop and politics with queen delilah so just everything just log in tap in plug into us baby because we got the we got the juice, baby. We got the sauce. And I'm a little hoarse right now. As you can see, I'm not trying to like stretch out my voice. I'm a little hoarse. Let me tell you what your girl was doing, okay? As you know, and if you don't know, I'm going to go ahead and let you know. I am an artist. So, um, yes, aside from all the many of talents and things that I do, I am an artist, baby. Aren't we all artists of like some type of craft? So we can't give up. Like, we got to keep going. But I'm an artist, so I was actually in a jam session um, with Easy Faces. Shout out to Easy Faces, because he does a jam session every single Wednesday at Island Vibes Cobb of Bar Wynwood, um, every single Wednesday, where they play live instruments. And, you know, he's a drummer. He put together this dope event. 
And he's actually the drummer to our podcast, our live edition podcast. So if you ever come out, um, you will actually see him drumming, almost like a talk show. So it's, it's super dope. Y- y'all have to come on and, and check out the scene. Check out the dope. It's so dope. But um, yeah, so I actually was out there performing with him, bass player, which is, um, God, don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. Uh, Debbie, I, I, I do not know her name, but yes, Debbie, then you got um, 27 Power. It's like so many, I'm going to get their tags and I'm going to get it right. But definitely, like, we were jamming out. It was a dope session. And um, I'm a horse from singing all that funk because I like some funk. I like that funk. That James Brown, that give it to you. Yeah, so we was, so I'm all horse by that. But we have a dope episode, okay? Because I have so much good shit to give you. I have so much good shit to talk about. Y'all know what the hell is going on with Young Thug and Gunna. All right, Young Thug and Gunna got arrested. We're going to be talking about that today. We're also going to be talking about Cardi B snapping on his DJ as she should for um fucking up who she was and who she was in the building. You know, big, big brim in the building, like she said. And I completely agree with her. We're going to get into that. We're also going to go, oh yeah, and the DJ apologized about that. We're going to go over that too. But we're also going to get into ASAP Rocky talking about that. Uh, Travis Scott actually stole his style. Ah, no. We actually gonna go over Kevin Samuel's death too, cause I feel like, you know, we need to talk. Good and bad and different. We need to talk about it. We politicking with Queen Delala, all right? So stay tuned. Right now, next off, I got Leonidas Shake It Off. All right, shake it all off. Let's go. Just that Elise ship, but said he coming in no secret. Uh-huh. Cause you see it, 92 is the Elise. So many victims to the rhythm, I be freaking. Girl, I'm feeling, let me link it to your leaking. Yeah. When it comes to the money, you know I be seeing it. Put a fire up on our demons leeching. It gets critical when the text come out. Cynical locomotives with their gold in their mouth. You what? know what type rep is the dirt is out. Without a doubt, I'm the head hound show right now. Uh-huh. Stay away from the devil that be chasing. Uh-huh. Become a slave to the rhythm and enjoy the box. You feel bad energy? Shake it off. Uh-huh. If I'm my attack, y'all. Shake it off. Uh-huh. To all my ladies, can you feel me? Shake it off. Dance with no worry, shake it off. You feel bad energy, shake it off. If I'm out of touch, y'all shake it off. So all my ladies, can you feel me? Shake it off. Dance with no worry, shake it off. The fire like a bendigo. Uh-huh. Ooh, momentum, mommy, let me work it slow. I'm a professional, check my credentials. Wow. No matter, little booties have some potential. Uh-huh. You should hit my way like Usher said. She said, baby, me no hablo English. It's okay, call me poppy for the rest of the day. Uh-huh. I'ma ring it on the poom poom as I penetrate. Ooh, oh my God, oh my God. God. Shake it for me, baby, I just got my refund. Shake. Jesus, all that ass be my weakness. Wow. Top chill pussy is so prestigious. Uh-huh. What you doing, love? Bitch, out there, pa' ca. I do not bite unless you ask me, ma. Uh-huh. But steady be the name if you ain't know by now. And this here is that nigga's you feel bad energy? Shake it off. If I might touch y'all, shake it off. To all my ladies, can you feel me? Dance with no worries. Shake it off. You feel bad energy? Shake it off. If I might touch y'all, shake it off. To all my ladies, can you feel me? Dance with no worries. Shake it off. Flip it, ball out with my dogs, man. Oh, man, oh, God, man, I did 
did it for the blog, man. Wake up every morning, bless. I spark it up and thank the man. Time is money, so if you wasting your time, I'm out of then. I can't be around niggas who complain like hoes and gossip, man. I rebuke them leeches from my life and hold a prosper, man. Raised up in that 267, rice and beans like Earth Day. Time was hard, money was low, but somehow we still made it, man. Told my grandpa I'ma make it happen before he passed away. I promise I'ma get this money, never let the family break. Yeah. And if you broke and stay critiquing, please get out the way. Popping all that shit, but quick to tell, get out the way. On the homies, we gon' get this bread and ball all day. And stunt on folks all day. That's real. I'm a hustle, man. Stack it tall and get it, man. Oh, man, for sure, man. I did it for the blog, man. I'ma get this chicken, flip it, ball out with my dogs, man. Oh, man, no oh God, man. I did it for the blog, man. Can't wait till I pull up in the dump. They gon' be like, damn, but Sunny, that's gonna be like, hey, yeah, I work hard for my Jeremy. <laughs> Woo, I'ma be shining on them boys, you feel me? I'm a hustle, man. Stack it tall and get it, man. Oh, man, for sure, man. I did it for the block, man. I'ma get this chicken, flip it, ball out with my dogs, man. Oh, man, no oh God, man. I did it for the block, man. Worry about the money, homie. Trust me, these bitches will come. Don't get trapped in all that foolishness. Just stack your paper up. Fuck a club. In the gym like Kobe, perfecting my shot. I don't want the easy route at all. I take the marathon. Like Nipsey, I'ma stay down ten toes. Can't forget those who stood by the code. Chase who, bitch? I chase the bankroll. That's a fact, though. Hey, is that slow? I know low code that bust shots to your polo. With the fofo, get smoked. Talk a fofo, that's a no-no. Stay on guard like I'm D-Roll. Like Lil Baby, I'm the neighborhood hero. I'm a hustle, man. Stack it tall and get it, man. Oh, man, for sure, man. I did it for the block, man. I'ma get this chicken, flip it, ball out with my dogs, man. Oh, man, oh, God, man. I did it for the block, man. Woo! Two, six, seven, baby. Big Zay, what it do? Not two. They can. Yeah. I already know what you're thinking. I already know what you're thinking. Like, what the fuck? Where the hell did he come from? No, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. you thinking, where did Queen Delilah just get this artist from? Like, yo, he, he's hard. First, I gave you the shake it all off from him. You know what I'm saying? Then I turned around. God damn, and gave you a hustle man. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't sleep on this man. This man is talented. Leonidas. And not to mention that he is damn near hip-hop royalty. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the man is hip-hop royalty. And he actually comes from a line of royal, like, yo, royal MC artistry, yo. His father is actually um, known as uh, Mr. Gradle Ra. I'm going to just go ahead and tell him Ray Truth. That, that that was his name back then in the um, 80s to 90s. You know what I'm saying? He used to spit. He was actually the founder of Mambo Trap. And right now, if you in the Latin community or you in Latin hip hop or whatnot, you would know that Bad Bunny is actually trying to uh, claim that. He's the one that's trying to claim that he made like reggaeton trap or like, you know, some type of, you know, along that notion. And now nah, actually his father, Ray Truth, actually made... Um, mambo trap you know what i'm saying where it was like mad bilingual but still on the hip-hop and you know what i'm saying because straight that fuck up they came from miami straight up his dad was a chef you know what i'm saying his mom and his father met out in the 70s you know what i'm saying out in winwood actually on second you know what i'm saying when he was telling me the story it was super dope because this is original you know what i'm saying raw homegrown grassroots talent you can't beat it you know what i'm saying and so coming from a household where his father you know what i'm saying besides just being a rapper named ray truth again um he was a dj so you he used to dj and um he used to ghostwrite for a lot of the bands out there and he was the first one to do bilingual rap out there in the you know the 80s and 90s you know what i'm saying so um he was also a battle rapper that's what it was he was a battle rapper named like mr great or something like that but it led him into performing early it led leonidas his son into performing mad early and you know um having a studio in his home when he was a young kid he always got a chance to be around the music, to record, to mimic what his father was doing. You know what I'm saying? But around, you know what I'm saying, in the 2000s when his parents actually, you know, um, no, I'm, I'm sorry, the 90s when his parents actually separated. 
and got divorced or whatnot. And that's when he used to visit his mother up in New York, but he used to stay in Miami with his grandmother. Uh, um, you know, out in Wynwood, he's a, he's a Florida jit, like he calls it. You know what I'm saying? And he got a lot of influence from that music, from, from that ever, from that whole environment, not ever, but that environment. You know what I'm saying? Out of New York, you know, he had some neighbors and stuff like that of his mother's and he was telling me the story and I was just so fond. I was like, okay, okay. You know me, you know, queen, we like to talk. We like to, we like to talk. I like to talk in depth. Like, bitch, don't talk to me on the surface. Give me all your secrets. <laughs> I want to know your secrets. Don't talk to me like, how you doing? What's your favorite color? No, bitch, what you scared of? Mm-hmm. I want that. I want to know what you scared of. <laughs> what do you think late at night when you ain't doing shit? Like Selena's late at night when all the world. What you be doing? What you be doing? That, that's me. That's what you scared of. You believe in ghosts? You believe in aliens? That's me. My little crazy ass. So back to the topic at hand. You know what I'm saying? When he went and, you know, traveled up to New York to go see his mother, he actually got into a lot of, you know, northern music. You know what I'm saying? He got into, you know, Jay-Z. He got into, you know, um, Missy Elliott actually being from Virginia with Timberland. And that is actually one of his favorite artists. I was like, one of the first artists that he actually listened to was Missy Elliott, he says. It was that album um, with Super Duper Fly on it. And he says like his mother was actually listening to it. And his mother didn't speak no English, mind you. But she knew music. She used to listen to SWV. And she lo- she loved R and B. That's what he says. She loved R and B. So she used to have a lot of records, just a lot of records, a lot of music. And so he was already in touch with the R and B side. But when he actually got into hip hop, it was a Missy Elliott album, and it was a Super Duper Fly album. And he says when he heard it, it just literally blew his mind. And I understand that because I I'm a little bit older than Leonidas. So when Missy came on the scene, I was already in middle school. So hearing her for the first time absolutely blew. My mind as well. She's so ahead of her time that even now you see, you know, artists from this era trying to mimic what she does. Mind you, in Shake It All Off, you hear Leonidas mimicking that same, you know, flow like Missy. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you can see the inspiration there. And and I just love it. I love to see that grass rooted talent. And you can see the origin of what another, you know, major influence has done in someone else's life, just as like it's done in yours. So Missy Elliott being a big part of my hip hop, you know, upbringing as a hip hop extraordinaire, what I like to call myself, bitch, don't correct me. You can't, it's my platform. <laughs> um, I like to say that too. That like, yo, she's dope. She's a legend and she's different. So you know what I'm saying? Um, aside from that, you know, DMX, Busta Rhymes, um, you know, just a, a lot of Things and albums and artists has changed his perspective and inspired him to picking things up. Bless you. Yeah, got to bless my team. Um, <laughs> bless you. But um, Leonidas, again, you know what I'm saying? Again, outcast. Um, you got, you know, when he came down to, you know, the South, it was like outcast. And um, it began growing into like electric music as well, like EDM and, you know, salsa. Again, he is you know, Dominican. So all that you can kind of tell in his music. I got a lot of dope, dope songs for you to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that has a lot of, you know, of that flair in it. I like it has that Latin flair in it. So he definitely is a showing his heritage in his hip hop. And I like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just had to give you some background of the artists you listening to before we get into these topics. Cause baby, they nitty and gritty. I know you don't want to hear it, but some of these, my opinion is going to piss you off tonight on some of these topics we're about to get into. But before we do, let me let you hear some more music, y'all. Here's Lord Vesetti. Y'all take a listen. Leonidas. The seven seas and BBC and stays fly. Lord Vesetti, that is I. Who Chevy is steady high and chunk the deuce when he ride by. Lord Vesetti, that is I. Who stay clean on every scene and women stop to say hi. Yeah. Lord Vesetti, that is I. Whose team remains supreme and chase paper till we die. 92. 
Mommy. I love that song, yo. That was just I Like It by 92 Minds, which is Leonidas and Goldmine Rex. So y'all got to check them out. Check out Goldmine Rex. Um, That's his handle on IG. Check out 92 Minds. That's their handle on IG and also all their other things, um, like their music. And um, um, Goldmine came out with um, his new album as well. And I did his interview. So that was super dope. Also, um, you guys got to make sure that y'all actually log on to the website, www.hiphopandpoliticsinc.com. That's where I actually have their um, literary piece that I actually did for them, the podcast episode, their music, some new merch, our event flyer where you can find us at, and all the other Eventbrite ticketing information for our vendors and our artists that actually want to perform at our events because, baby, we be lit. I don't know what you be doing with your days. But over here, baby, we get shmoney and we get slitty. We get busy with the bitty in this city. Look, I should be just be a rapper. Sign me. As long as it ain't death row. You know what I'm saying? That we good. But anyway, let's stick to the topic. Let me go ahead and tell you what's going on with Young Thug and Gunna. Because, baby, they got some problems. There's some issues. YSL. All right? Now, Thug already got arrested. So did Gunna. But let me go ahead and tell you the charges that's going on. All right? Let, let me, I mean, how many there is or what they're all or just if you've been hiding on the rack just rock just listen to queen come here come here daddy sit down come here mommy sit down now um the two charges against young thug are part of a much broader 56 count indictment that names 28 associates in his alleged gang and if you don't mean the if you don't know what they mean by a two additional charges when they raided his home in buckhead and they arrested him they actually found guns um, automatic guns that were able to turn into like uh, sem- semi um, semi automatic weaponry. Um, they found drugs, and all of this is becoming charges of intent to distribute because of the weight, the um, the guns, the everything, everything. So they're really going after him. So on top of the fifty six count indictment that names twenty eight associates in his alleged gang, including Gunner who's already been arrested and is another rapper and Christian Eppinger, who was accused of seriously wounding a police officer during a February shootout. They're, they're getting arrested. And young thug was arrested on Monday. And after a police raid of his home in Buckhead, they actually found that, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of drugs, a lot of guns and a lot of other things that led to other things like other crimes and that's where it's getting even deeper. And I'm going to go ahead and read to you this article of what's going on. All right? Now, um, out there in Atlanta, where they're currently, you know, where they're at and everything like that, um, we got a little problem because the district attorney is super pissed at Thug and them. All right? And this is a little bit of what she's saying. Fulton County District Attorney um, Fannie Willis said in a news conference Tuesday that Young Thug and the alleged members of YSL operated as a criminal street gang and commenced to do havoc in our in their community since 2012. Atlanta Police Chief Rodney Bryant called Young Thug one of Atlanta's top offenders who needed to be taken off the streets. And he stated like this, word for word, they are committing consecutive, I'm sorry, they're committing conservatively 75 to 80 percent of all violent crime in our community, Willis said. It doesn't matter, you know, you kn- know him as the famous young thug, but if you come to Fulton County, Georgia, and you commit crimes, you're going to be the target of this district attorney's office. Now, Willis also said that the people being indicted um, could face jail time and life in prison. Wilson said that the social media music played a crucial role in the investigations into the young thugs and his associates. And this is what she said. Social media is a wonderful tool for prosecutors in every indictment we bring these days. And it's true. I'm not even going to front. They said that the indictment are actually engaging YSL members in the activities like preserving, protecting, and enhancing the reputation, which they aren't doing, okay? And um, of the territory and enterprise through acts of racketeering um, activity, including murder, assault, and threat of violence, preserving, protecting, and enhancing the reputation, power, and um, territory of the enterprise by posting messages, images, videos, songs, demonstrating allegiance to enterprise and willingness to engage in violent on violence on the behalf of maintaining armed individuals ready and willing to preserve, protect, and enhance the reputation, power, and territory of the enterprise 
through the use of violence. So they're going in, they're saying that they're obtaining money, weapons, and other property through acts of racketeering activity, including robbery, theft, and unlawful sale of distribution of drugs, obstructing law enforcement investigations and court proceedings through witness intimidation and attacks on open law enforcement officers. So it's kind of like, yikes, when you start putting this all together, it kind of makes sense why these people are like going after them because this is a heavily gang affiliated type of organization. Like they're looking at it. And I know people are like really, really tiptoeing about this. And listen, I love Thug's music because I'm a hood queen. I love that type of music. But I don't want that type of music promoted to my kid because, again, I got kids out here and they're the next generation of the world. And I don't want to see no man locked up. So I don't want to see Thug locked up. I don't want to see his kids have to miss out on having a father and he miss out on their childhood. I just think that we need better measures. Like, why are we locking him up? Why are we locking him up? I just think that they're trying to make an example. And that's how they are. They want to make an example out of somebody famous so they could start showing that, listen, as soon as they gave it to you, they'll take it away. And I'm not saying that Thug ain't earn it. No, no, he earned that. He earned everything he has. But damn, the hip hop police is out and motherfucking about. Like they're, they're, they're going, they're checking everybody. Casanova got locked up. He went down. They hit him with the same thing, Rico charges. Oh, by the way, they're hitting Thug and Gunner with Rico charges. Yeah. Because they're organized crime. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're not playing with them. So Gunner already locked up for conspiracy of racketeering. Yeah. So Gunner locked up. They went ahead and did that. They ain't playing. And Cardi B better be careful because she got an open case. Mind you, we about to talk about her too. Because she went ham on a DJ. All right? Now, she got to be careful too. And I love my baby. But she got to be careful because she did something real dangerous. <laughs> Y'all like that? And she did something real dangerous to damn self. All right? And you know she bloody. She big brim. Now, what happened with Cardi B was she was in a club in New York with Offset and her whole team, her sister, everybody there. And the DJ, you know, she's there, she partying, she vibing, whatever. And you hear the DJ start shouting out, shout out to Nicki Minaj in the building. Shout out to Nicki Minaj in the building. And you can see Cardi, like, dancing so awkward. Like, what the fuck is going on? Straight up. You know what I'm saying? She looking and Offset puts down his glasses. Y'all got to look at that video. You know what I'm saying? Offset, like kind of with his finger, he puts down his glasses a little bit. And he puts it right back up and starts looking like, oh, shit. And Cardi ends up getting the mic. And she says, yo, what's good? What's good, everybody? How we feeling? We going to rock out tonight? Whatever. And then she goes, big brim in the building. Are we going to get dangerous tonight? We want to get dangerous. We want all the smoke. That's what homegirl says. I love me some Cardi, so mind you. We want all the smoke. We getting dangerous tonight? DJ, are we fucking getting dangerous tonight? You want to fucking get dangerous? And almost like an intimidation tactic, which by right, I give her reason. Don't fucking try me on my turf when I'm here, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that ratchet, that ratchet queen came out. I'm sorry. But period, she had a reason. When I'm in the building, I'm in the building. I don't give a fuck. Don't make, don't make it be messy. Don't be messy. Do not be messy. And true indeed, as soon as you see, she said, do you want to get dangerous? Yo, this man put on WAP with Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion. He switched up the music, switched up the whole attitude. It's a different, it's a different day, nigga. <laughs> I like that. So she completely switched up the mood. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. But the fact that she went in and said, yo, are we getting dangerous? People are already saying she's threatening him. And if you didn't know, Cardi B has an open case right now. Right now. She has an open case for allegedly getting her gang members to beat up a side chick that Offset was possibly sleeping sleeping with. Allegedly sleeping with. I don't want to say if that's true or not because the fucking internet be full of shit. Trust me. I just see it, I tell you about it and what it's related to and how it can affect some shit. But you already know what we do here. We don't really make them type of blogging, gossip blogs. We ain't that. We telling you what the current event is in both hip-hop and politics and we keep it moving. But I ain't with all that because, listen, I'm a hood queen. Uh You don't never know. For the right nigga, I might just go on and forgive your ass for some motherfucking cheating. Oh, (laughs) 
<laughs> Period. Don't judge me, baby. Okay, I'm human. I am woman, man, queen, king, yeah, all that. So that's I'm like, mm, this just circumstantial. But, you know, they got a family, that's them. But again, yeah. So she got an open case about that for beating up two bartenders at a strip club that Offset was actually fucking with. And she went there and everything. And you know what I'm saying? Made a statement and everything. It was super dope. So to be honest, like, she should have chilled with that. I'm sorry, my throat getting dry. You know I'm a little hoarse. You can actually hear it. I think you can hear it now. So she needs to chill out with that. Like, that's my girl. I love her. I don't want to see nothing bad happen to her. So needs to chill with that. She know people praying against her. She don't need no more drama. I don't want her to have no more heat. No more nothing. She need to come on with another fucking album for me. For real, for real. For real, for real. For real. Her and Rihanna are the people that I'm really waiting on. Like, Rihanna's pregnant. She having her baby. The beautiful Rihanna. She having her baby. So that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? But I, I hope, like, she does like what Adele did. And Danny Lay is doing. Mind you, Danny Lay got some new music out. And she also got an interview with Angie Martinez called um, My Side. Or, yeah, My Side. You know what I'm saying? And I'm loving her music because it's really just hitting certain notes. But on the flip side, she got new music out because she got a baby. Adele came out with music after she had a baby. Cardi B came out with music. While she was pregnant, she was recording. But, you know, like after a baby. Beyonce recorded certain songs after a baby. So it's like, I'm hoping she really takes this opportunity and comes out with the album after the baby because it's going to be so much hype. I don't ever think she stopped recording. I don't ever I don't ever feel like Rihanna actually stopped recording. Like, she is phenomenal. She is top tier level, top shelf type singer. Like, she's legendary now. It's, it's, it's a rap, you know what I'm saying? I don't ever think that she actually stopped recording. But I think that some sounds maybe got old and she may want to do some shit. But, yo, she need to come out. She just need to come out. Oh, mind you, ASAP Rocky coming out. I feel like that's his way as, as being a provider and a good man. Like, nigga, if you an artist and you married to Rihanna, you better be coming out with some music. You better be. That is your job. That's how you protect and provide. Come out with some goddamn music, nigga. That's what you got to do. That's your job. That's how you bring in the bacon in the home. She's already a billionaire. You know you ain't as rich as her, so all you got to do is just just bring, just bring, have a job at least. So it could look like you're working and bringing in something at least. God damn. Just like Beyonce and Jay-Z. Just like Nicki Minaj and Mr. Petty. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to look at that. So, again, you know, I think, I think that's a good look. I think that's a good look. I like that. I like that. ASAP Rocky just came out with a song. You know what I'm saying? And it actually has Rihanna in the video. And they're actually almost, I don't know if it's a parody or whatnot. But I like it. It's like a wedding. It's almost like on with their grill, he he goes and says, will you marry me? And with her grill, she says, I do. And everybody's been talking about that. Like, oh my God, you know, they're married. They're really engaged. But on the flip side to that, I also feel like a lot of people <laughs> said like, ASAP tried Rihanna. She he had Rihanna out there, goddamn, on a stoop. Pregnant as hell, sweating out in them New York City streets. Folks ain't like that. <laughs> but see, like, don't be trying to be a trap queen now, mama. You a billionaire. Chill out. You know what I'm saying? Like, folks was talking some shit, but you know folks gonna talk their shit. Folks gonna talk their shit. But listen, um, we're gonna take a little break and a little music break so you can hear Leonidas. In the, and, you know, yeah, my throat's dry. I'm fucking up right now. But listen, we're going to take a break. Here's some Leonidas. I'm about to um, let you hear his Get Nasty record. And then we're going to come back and talk about Kevin Samuels. And, um, oh, yeah, and how um, Travis Scott stole ASAP Rocky's um, style. Because I ain't even touched back on that yet. But, yeah, let me get some water. <clears throat> get wet. <clears throat> Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is 
the fly is off the mall. I heard a rubber double and then a ball. The mirror replied, it's for Seti, of course. Some my day off with a blunt and thank the Lord. Make sure I'm fresh before I walk out the door. Ah, yes, another sunny day in the MIA. What can I say? Look at the view, can't complain. Love talking to chicks who love the skinny dip. Pull side at the Della, no, I make a strip. Bartender, please, more bottles and make it quick. Record vids of tongue tricks all on my dick. Bonjour, madame, como se va? Wanna menage a trois, I'll in my car. Goddamn, I love you, a natural star. Hair was so good, I pulled over in park. My darling, I am fiending for you. Got a special request, I'm hoping you'll do. Let's do something explicit. Get a camera and film it. Record it as I lick and need a towel when I'm finished. If you single, get it money and you feel sexy. Get nasty, girl, get nasty. If you got no panties, then you hit a party. Get nasty, girl, get nasty. My dude, she wanna move, what you hogging the for? I can tell by her eyes, she wanna hit the dance floor. Now her loose, she ain't yours, my, go ahead and let go. Get nasty, girl, get nasty. Come roll with a breadwinner, sick and pickers. Room full of strippers, she nasty, I tip her. Ma, lick your fingers, play with it as I enter. Fit her on the click, eat it like I miss dinner. I know you're tired of a minute man in your life. Let's fly to Dubai, but said it would do you right. That's no lie, I cross my heart, hope to die. Whatever you fantasize, you want it, I'll buy. You be Emily B, I be your low so Fly like in the world show, we in the front row. Whoever said it's lie is a mentiroso. Y'all don't want beef, niggas be chicken pollo. Jab a nigga quick like Miguel Cotto. Players only live once, bury me in polo. Like young Joe, my shoulder lean, cause my wrist goes love. You don't get the truth. Ma, you get chose. Bonjour, madame, como se va? Bring your fans poolside without no bra. Sipping on my ties while playing with hot ties. Word of Kanye, I am a must star. My darling, I am fiending for you. Got a special request I'm hoping you'll do. Let's do something explicit. Get a camera and film it. Record it as I lick it in a towel when I'm finished. If you single, get it money and you feel sexy. Get nasty, girl, get nasty. If you got no panties, then you hit a party. Get nasty, girl, get nasty. My dude, she wanna move, what you hogging the for? I can tell by her eyes, she wanna hit the dance floor. Let her loose, she ain't yours, my go ahead and let go. Get nasty, girl, get nasty. Cause I didn't want to make the album about like, you know, 29 million features. I wanted to make the album about women. You are a genius, my friend. And how did you choose then the women you wanted to collaborate with? Because I am, I'm telling you, every woman on this planet would want to collaborate with you. I don't know how to respond to that. It's too nice of a compliment. Yeah. Bounce with me, bounce with me. My niggas A in the building. <laughs> yeah. Who you loving? Who you want to be hugging? Who you with? Answer this. Who you want to be fucking? Can he stroke it? Keep it thugging. Break your back. Keep you coming. Who gon' do you like that? Who gon' do you like that? Hey. Who you loving? Who you want to be hugging? Who you with? Answer this. Who you want to be fucking? Can he stroke it? Keep it thugging. Break your back. Keep you coming. Who gon' do you like that? Who gon' do you like that? Hey. First things first. I be the Don Poppy. Uh -huh. Showing love to her knees. My queen is snow bunnies. Okay. Can't forget my Latin mommies and my Asian Barbies, what? Caribbeans who love the party and to keep it naughty. What? Fresh to the socks and fitting suits by Armani. Okay. First 48, a thick shorty, she get body. Uh. Middle fingers to the feds, uh, they can't stop me. Uh -uh. Like Machiavelli, I get around, killing Punani. Whoa. Listen here, my darling, there's something you gotta know. All that ass you carry raises my cholesterol. Backstrokes be the best stroke, take notes. Call me Michael Phelps, I never sink in it, I flow. Got a new model, no cash, no combo. Play with my ones in the dash, you me hollow. I tip you if you suck it till it reach back to your tonsils. Do me proper, it's the steady baby. I got ya. Who you loving? Who you wanna be hugging? Who you with? Answer this. Who you wanna be fucking? Can he stroke it? Keep it thugging. Break your back. Keep you coming. Who gon' do you like that? Who gon' do you like that? Hey. Who you loving? Who you wanna be hugging? Who you with? Answer this. Who you wanna be fucking? Can he stroke it? Keep it thugging. Break your back. Keep you coming. Who gon' do you like that? Who yeah. gon' do you like that? Hey. Uh. Who you love and who you wanna be touching? Cause baby, making love with me is like a perfect discussion. I'm talking back and forth, mine's and yours, baby, I'm yours. We keep fucking up the sheets until your body's sore, uh. Fuck them niggas, they don't do it like me. You know I got your favorite spoon for the mac and cheese, all right. I'm just playing no disrespect, but I'm saying this ain't really no decision. I feel like it's God's plan, like when I touch it, send chills down your spine. Hands around your throat while I'm in between them thighs. 
I do this regular, making your body tremble up. I'm addicted in love with rising your temperature. Yeah, feel like the best of the best. Cause when it come to all this loving, you know where I invest. So yeah, don't want to do this with nobody but you. But I got some things I gotta know too. Who you loving? Who you wanna be hugging? Who you with? Answer this. Who you wanna be fucking? Can he stroke it? Keep it thugging. Break your back. Keep you coming. Who gon' do you like that? Who gon' do you like that? Hey. Who you loving? Who you wanna be hugging? Who you with? Answer this. Who you wanna be fucking? Can he stroke it? Keep it thugging. Break your back. Keep you coming. Who gon' do you like that? Who gon' do you like that? Hey. Come on now. Queen ain't going to bring you nothing. Come on, nothing that I wouldn't put my ears to during the day that I wouldn't love, that I wouldn't enjoy and just vibe to in the car around my kids or just something or just with my man. Like you just heard, Leonidas just laying on that track. All right? First you heard Get Nasty and then the last one just paid was like that. And it you got to see artistically, this man is a genius. And, you know, his other partner, Goldmine Rex, is a genius. Like the group, the, the group 92 Minds is genius. Just artistically, it's like a new era, like a new era outcast. Like almost like, yo, if I could really identify it, it'd be like a new era outcast. And that's beautiful. And, and you know, the next uh, the next song that you're going to hear, Water, which is by them, you're going to get to hear that big versatility that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like they just, you know, not saying that they are the outcasts, not comparing them. I'm just using that as a reference to show the comparison of, of their artistic expression and how they, you know, they're so different. But, yo, they blend so damn well. It's like peanut butter and jelly. It's like the perfect mix. You know, mix like the puzzle pieces. Yo, I'm loving their group. And I'm loving how strong they're going. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm going to let you hear Water. Last song of the show, which is coming up next. But before we go ahead and end the show, there's a couple of topics I'm going to talk about. Right? So, um, ASAP Rocky was on Drinking Champs with Noriega. All right? If you don't know, that's a very popular podcast. I, I watch it. I listen to it. I like it. All right? And he actually made a statement. He said, yo, um, you know, Travis Scott stole my style. And at first I was like, wow, that's pretty egotistical to say. But you got a slick look at it. You know what I mean? When they were coming out in the ASAP crew, in the ASAP crew, you know, they were, you know, all of them are unique. You know what I'm saying? ASAP Ferg, like all of them is unique. But... Yo, Travis Scott, like, where did he get that style from? Like, you know, he from Texas and everything, but where did all of that come from? And you got to look at other artists are influenced by other artists. It just happens like that. It is what it is. That's the game. They're very heavily influenced by other artists and, you know, what they're doing around them. So I could believe if, you know, you know, um, being ASAP Rocky coming up in the community, in the in the group that he was in, and Travis Scott seemed to... You know, bite that style because that's not the first time I heard Travis Scott biting a style. I heard Travis Scott takes credit for a lot of things that he actually has not made. And that's just, you know, that's just hearsay within the industry from producers that's actually made beats for him that had to fight to get their name on the beat so they could get paid and stuff like that through paperwork. So, you know, and him taking samples and beats and saying that he made them, but he really didn't. So I already heard that. So to hear ASAP Rocky say that, yo, Travis Scott bit my style. I could believe that. I'm just I'm just going to I'm just going to say that's just my opinion. Period. You look at them, do what you want. Freedom of speech, all right? This is my shit. I can say it. That's how I feel. But you could look it up and feel how you want to feel, but at least do the research and I made you think tonight. Today. Whatever part of the world you're listening to cuz shout out to all my listeners globally cuz we actually international, baby. We we international. We doing shit around here. Like China, Uganda, Italy, North Korea, Russia, Germany, United States, United Kingdom. God, if I forgot you, I'm so sorry. Philippines, I know for a fact, Spain, um, Slovakia, <laughs> uh, there's some other one. I don't mean no disrespect, but it's like CVZ, something, something is crazy. But thank you so much for listening to me. You know what I mean? Canada out there. So thank you. I very much appreciate you. So yeah, wherever you're listening to in the world. Yeah, look it up. I right? this is this is good information. 
You might have to like change your website like to dot com, you know, or I don't know how they do it. USA. My friend is like, I don't know. He does something and he'd be like, you know, he does uh, photography. Yeah. Shout out to the people on my team before anything. Um, let me shout out um, uh, Felicia, my event coordinator, Thro Cosby, my executive producer and CFO, um, Fabiola, my outreach coordinator, um, Gibson, uh, Gibson King, my photographer and videographer. Um, oh God, that's just it. I think that's it right now. Damn. Anybody that shows love, like Corey, people that just show me love, Corey, James, Adrian, that just show me love and make sure they're always there. Big Zay, shout out to damn Big Zay, yo. That man is actually doing so much nobody knows about, but that man is everywhere and he is working and he looks out for me. He loves me and I love that man. Yo, shout out to Big Zay 305 and his business. Make sure you check him out. He does graphic designing. Uh, he does videography. He does photography. He does he does he does fly he does everything that under the sun yo that's a that's a dope motherfucking individual i wish that he could work with us but he's so damn busy that's how talented he is so hmm but my last topic and i got to hit it because this is super important and i got to actually go um so make sure y'all pay attention yo kevin daniels kevin samuels i'm sorry kevin samuels actually passed away you know if you don't know who he is he's like the popular youtuber that um gives off dating advice. And um he's you know, since December about twenty twenty, um, he's been, you know, really, really popping, you know, since pandemic. You know what I'm saying? And uh he, he's been he was doing it before, but he wasn't doing it about topics like he's doing it now. But now he's been doing topics about dating and they tend to be derogatory towards black women like the advice he has for black women are so derogatory and he's just like a misogynistic misogynist and it, it just shows you know like oh uh, he's so creepy to me like some some in some some general advice i'll hear and i'll be like oh that's a good thing to think about i guess but then other times i'm like shut the fuck up please like and good serves me well. My intuition's on fucking point. Queen's on point. Let me tell you why. Because speaking of it, he passed away, right? And just before he passed away, he was actually talking to a 35-year-old black mother who called into the show and was telling him about, you know, herself. She was like, look, she has a teenage son. She, you know, she makes six figures a year at a pet, pet grooming business, but she wanted somebody on the same level. And he literally was like insulting her look insulting the fact that she was a mother, insulting the fact of like, you know, you know, not having the, a father, you know, there. And then, you know, just telling her that she needs to lower her standards, basically. And then said that she was average looking at best. And, you know, just telling her that she was not qualified to have a great man. And I don't believe in that. And I think that was something really shitty to say. And, he actually passed away and how he passed away, he was, you know, having sexual after he had sexual relations with um, a Latin woman who was voluptuous, of course, traveling nurse. You know, she doing she doing her thing. She had a daddy pain. It ain't tricking if you got it. She got a little money, shmoney, and ended up right after they had sexual relations, he ended up having a heart attack. And, um, you know, turning blue, there was no, you know, no type of defibrillator around to give him shock treatment. But he passed away. So it's kind of like so sad. But why I'm mentioning it is because it has the community in uproar. We hear people talking about it. People are debating. Black, you know, a lot of the black community and black women in the community are like, fuck that shit. We are not about to be sad or feel no type of way about him. It's whatever. And a lot of other people are like, yo, stop talking shit. The man is dead and he's not here no more. He's not a bad person like Omarion. Omarion actually spoke out and he said, listen... This man didn't kill nobody. He talked this shit, so what? But he's not a bad person. And I kind of feel him on that. I feel like, yeah, that's absolutely the right thing to feel like. Like, don't talk no shit. The man's dead. You got a pastor sitting there. Yeah, there was a pastor out in Atlanta. At the, I think it was like the New Birth Missionary Church, something like that. And he made like a really nasty comment during the sermon. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the man. And you can kind of see everybody's in the face. Everybody's face was like, what? Why would, who told you to do that? And it was just kind of embarrassing. I kind of felt like that was tactful. 
So definitely, yeah, I don't feel like you should be talking about nobody that ain't here yet. I mean, here anymore, and they're deceased, and they were a bad person. Yes, I could say he was very distasteful because the things that he said were nasty, wrong, you know, discredited at, to say the least, because the man died in debt, and now his family has a GoFundMe account open to bury him because they can't. He lived in an apartment. He was a divorcee of two marriages. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of things that he preached, he did not have. And I think that upset people to say the least. So definitely, I think um, that needs to be, you know, taken, you know, that needs to be taken into consideration when you're trying to advocate something. But again, it's no one here, no there. Just don't be making no distasteful comments. Someone's dead. But on that note, this episode's dead. Oh, is that distasteful? Sorry. Yeah, listen. Um, this is Hip Hop and Politics with Queen Delilah. Make sure you follow the artist that was featured on tonight's episode, Leonidas, which is IG is at Leonidas. Make sure you follow us at Hip Hop and Politics Inc. Make sure you follow me, the host, at underscore Queen Delilah. That's D E L I L A H. Make sure you go to our website where you can find his information, his um, his social handles and everything. You could also find the episode, which is airing now, on the website if you just want to rewind it and enjoy some of the music, all on the website, www.hiphopandpoliticsinc.com. All right, so I'm about to head out. Oh, make sure y'all come out to um, Island Vibe Cabo Bar Winwood, 3200 Northwest, 2nd Ave, uh, Miami, Florida, every other Saturday. So we are having our show tomorrow, May 14th, all right, and our next show is May 28th. Make sure you come out. We got Leonidas performing tomorrow and give, dropping exclusives, which he did tonight, but I'm not going to tell you which, which exclusives they were because you won't be able to find them on the album. Mm-hmm. You have to listen to my show to listen to them. Uh-huh. So if you come out tomorrow, you'll be able to see him perform. And after that um, performance, the next show is um, May 28th, and we have Wise Beyond Knowledge coming on, which you guys have to stay tuned and check out all my episodes, my YouTube channel website and everything to actually tap in with them so i'm loving it right now so um our last song we're gonna go ahead and head out to is 92 minds water with leonidas and gold my rex make sure you check them out too hip on politics with queen delilah i love y'all Mwah.
I was born in the mechanics of the underworld. Seeing man maneuver traffic with no cars, I swear. Pumping daily corruption while the city take a share. Politicians turn a blind eye long as the money there. I seen plenty niggas become gaudy off that water. I seen niggas make that white really walk on water. Let it bubble, make it stretch, and sell this hope like a pastor at the altar. Become gods to the voter, addicts in hunger. Community full of fiends, yeah, they protect the beach. Benefit from every OD and youngest that reach. Lord, if you hear me, please know I think it's time. The hood is getting worse. Everybody walk blind. They idolizing the frauds, but criticize the right. Who keep Nowadays they hide online. Plus, to be honest, I'm afraid of this future. We wanted to be hustler. Y'all wanna be the user, nigga. 92 miles, nigga. They count. Leonidas. Shit is wicked out here, man. I stay true and thorough. Fuck the face shit, you heard me?